I just want to go. Hey, that sounds like Blitzo! The O is silent, asshole! Hey, I knew it was you! Wait a minute! Now let's dance. Blitz! Blitz! Where are you, shithead? Blitz! Oh, oh piss on it! Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Hell of a Boss is the original OG show for blink and you'll miss it type of representation. If you do not focus at all, I promise you some of you will not have even known that this character is not GNC, is not straight, gender non-conforming. I don't know the terminology, forgive me. So one, when I was live reacting to this episode a few days ago, somebody in chat pointed out to me that this character is intersex and I just didn't process that i was too busy beholding the amazingness of the entire episode like come on guys <laughs> so then i went on a hunt to try and find them and in the process of finding them i found another trans character in the background again blink and you'll miss it wait a minute where is it there we go her this I love the representation in the show so much, but there is a bit of divide where people are saying that this character is trans, they're not intersex. Now, the reason for the confusion I got was because, like, this, this is, um, God, my brain. This character was born male, but transitioned to female because we know male born imps have horns with big stripes. Eh. That's why a lot of people always get confused when you point out that Sally Mae is actually trans. A lot of people didn't know that. <laughs> There's some drama about it, but I don't want to get into it. But the issue here is that female imps have black hair. So we also know that Sally Mae is trans because their hair is growing white at the roots. Like Moxie, big horns, big stripes, white hair at the roots. Big horns, big stripes, white hair at the roots. But um, um, Sally Mae is dyeing their hair black to more represent the woman that they are queen slay now the problem with this character is that their roots aren't black their roots are brown why is my <laughs> whatever does not working today there we go they have the white hair of male imps that are born male at birth i am struggling can you tell but it's very hard to get a dye this accurate for if you know you know but the rootage is not black this is brown so there is that thing of oh what if this is their natural hair color but now that i look at it no it looks like they also dyed their hair it's kind of a sally may situation but this character was assigned female at birth because of the horns because i saw another character with brown hair is the um, all the imps don't actually have black hair i saw a character with brown hair in the background even right now no no that's that's a hellhound go away shoo <laughs> you're not a part of this conversation when blitz was being carried away yes there we go oh she's sexy is that me did i just get a demon sona <laughs> Ah, I claim her in the name of TVC. <laughs> that is me. Uh, I have a soda and hell of a boss spread the word. <laughs> uh, sp spreading lies and falsehoods here. But again, it's, it, I love the representation in the show so freaking much. Again, it is a blink and you'll miss it. And then you have people complaining that Vivian likes to put forced representation in her shows. And I'm like, how? When? These characters did not open their mouth and tell us that they are trans or intersex. But now that we've established this, I, I am kind of torn because look, okay, no, this is a die, so they don't count. But the rootage, the rootage, um, ignore whatever is happening on this side of the screen. These characters do not jump out, jump up at you and say, hey, I am trans. They just are and they exist and we love that and that's how it should be in real life. I wish there was a way to know um, trans characters for hellhounds, but I guess that's a bigger ask. The imps just had more development or lore in that regard, but I'm pretty sure the show will find a way to show us trans um 
hellhounds because they found a way to show us trans imps without us even knowing again i swear to you it had to be pointed out to me that sally may was trans in great detail and every time i talk about it there is somebody in the comments saying oh my god mind blown but yeah that's it that's this video um we put the debate to rest or if you have arguments trying to argue no they really are intersex let me know in the comments because again the person who told me this was either a random commenter or somebody who actually worked on the show who showed up at my stream i cannot remember memory of a goldfish you see how hard it is for me to record videos but yeah thanks very so much for clicking to watch if you want something else to watch you can watch my last two videos one is about beelzebub's design the other one is a review of the episode that didn't really, the notifications for it didn't really go out to people so you might not have been notified of it regardless now i'm telling you <laughs> Aside from that, I have super thanks turned on in the comments so you can send me a dollar if you are so inclined, highlight your comments, let me know, I can get to it quicker, probably, maybe. <laughs> if you don't want to do that, you can become a channel member or support me on Patreon, like my most recent Patreon supporter, Atradora Fan. Thank you so, so much for your support and stick around for the next video i might even upload it today if you're lucky where i reveal to you a secret character that i found in this episode that nobody else seems to have noticed and it's so cool but yeah thanks so much for clicking to watch don't forget to like comment subscribe to all the things and but with that being said this is tvc Mwah. signing out <laughs>